The Triple M Grill Team. <laughs> Turn Gus, MG and Maddie on 6 till 9 weekdays. Boys, it's so hard to believe it's been 26 years since the terrorist attack on Nakatomi Tower by Hans Gruber <laughs> and his team of Eastern European mercenaries. Uh, luckily, one man, a New York yeah. cop on holiday visiting his estranged <laughs> wife, Holly Gennaro, was able to thwart their plan and throw Hans Gruber off the building. It's a thrill to have a hero on the line, MG. Wrong John McLean, brother. <laughs> oh. Wrong, John McLean. This, this is. Oh, this, this isn't Bruce oh. Willis. No, mate. Oh, this is the. This is better than Bruce. This Willis. is the real this, deal. This is the real deal. This bloke. This. Uh, 1985. <laughs> I went to grade at Penrith, and I went along with this young bloke called Johnny McLean. He was a flashy outside back, uh, centre wing fullback, very very fast. In the summer of '88, he was um, trying to train for his first ever triathlon when a uh, a truck cleaned him up on the M4 and. Not only was he lucky to be alive, but he went on from that to swim the English Channel. He went in the Hawaiian Ironman. He's a uh, Olympian, but I, I, I class him as a, a really good mate, and I welcome him to the grill team. G'day, Jay McLean. G'day, Mark. Good to good to hear you, buddy. Abnam. Abnam. <laughs> mate, yesterday you did it, brother. You're you, you're defying you're defying everything, really. Yesterday you um, competed in the Nepean Triathlon, which was um, a one k swim, thirty k cycle, and a ten k run, mate. And you did it. Uh, yeah, you know, all with the tear in your eye, I suppose. Mate, it was very special to uh, to cross that finish line after 26 years. As you know, training for that triathlon when I got hit by the truck. Right. So to have that special moment to cross that finish line with my beautiful wife Amanda, my son Jack, holding hands, mm. and to have that uh, all those people there clapping and cheering, it certainly made many tears. Um, it was very emotional. John, John, I was with Phil Kearns last night. And he told me he was probably the emotion, the most emotional he has ever been at any sporting event. The fact that you ran the last ten k's, you hadn't done more than four k's. He told me beforehand, mate, an, amazing. How's the body this morning? Um, I have to say, I was walking and walking very slowly with uh, <laughs> carbon fiber uh, leg braces and walking poles. So I'd, I'd love to say running one day. So um, yeah, having Kearns there was was spectacular, and I mean. It just sort of taking you through the day with uh, when I did the swim, I looked on my left and there's Kai Hurst and on my right is Craig Alexander who's won the Hawaiian Ironman three times. Mm. And then we did the bike, which was, you know, fantastic to roll with my buddies after 26 years. And to have, um, you know, Freddie and Spud and all these guys mm. helping us out, Yana Pittman, and them, it was really, really special. And having Kernji there as well, I mean, he wasn't the only one crying. I was crying for the last two kilometres. So um, it was it was a special moment. Hey, John, mate, they say adversity brings out the best in the in the human spirit. Um, and you went through one of the most difficult you know, things that anyone will ever go through when you got your career ahead of you and all of a sudden this horrible accident robs you of that uh, opportunity. What were you like beforehand and what has that adversity done for you now? I think I was an I think I was an average football player. You know, I loved the game and um, you know didn't get a chance to play first grade. Wasn't good enough for that. But um, I guess you know after getting hit by a truck, um, you know I started to look at a couple of things. One was that when I was in the spinal unit, uh, the other three guys had broken their necks and I'd broke my back. So I was I was lucky to be alive and lucky I could still use my upper body. So I thought never have uh, the audacity to feel sorry for yourself because yeah. there's always people worse off. And then you know now having a foundation, Matty helping kids in wheelchairs around our country. Um, that's the best thing. So I think looking before, I was certainly a positive person, and now mm. um, you know, hopefully, I'm in a position that I'm encouraging and inspiring others to get the best out of themselves. Mm. Well, you're certainly doing that, mate. Um, yesterday uh, with the Nepean Triathlon, what was the hardest part of it? Um, I, definitely the, uh, the the walk. So. Uh, you know, I've got these special carbon braces to help support my legs and just my feet, obviously, they're not used to me standing upright and, and trying to take steps after 26 years, so they're, they're pretty sore and tender today, but um, each step, um, you know, I'd ripped off quite a few layers of skin off my feet. Um, you know, it was, it was really, really painful, but um, having Steve Waugh there saying, listen, mate, um, <laughs> you know, Sir Steve Redgrave has got uh, five Olympic gold medals of five consecutive games, and he said it's, you know, it's six minutes of, of pure pain, and then you've got a life of memory so he was just encouraging me to keep on going and certainly the walk was uh, every step of the way was painful well one bloke i i think about when i look at you is uh, a bloke who had a, an, a terrible accident happened to him this year alex mckinnon have you had a chance to speak to young alex I have, uh, Mark. I spoke to Alex a little while ago, and um, I went through a, a, a special therapy with Ken Ware, and uh, Ken actually uh, took, uh, took Alex through that last week, and uh, early signs are very encouraging. And Alex basically said, you know, what do you think I should expect? I said, mate, just go there. You've got nothing to lose, so you put your put everything into it, and hopefully there'll be a great outcome. My dream for Alex is that he'll get a chance to walk down the aisle with his wife, which would be which would be 
Amazing. Yeah, Good yeah, brother. Johnny. Mate, Thanks, uh, John. Great to talk to you, John. And, you know, um, for people that John gets in there and he, he, he does motivational speaking and great. he talks to the New South Wales jo- origin side and the lead into their uh, origin series. And, John, my, my favourite Die Hard was Die Hard 3. <laughs> what was it like working with Samuel L. Jackson? <laughs> well, it wasn't bad, no, Matty. I, I really enjoyed Sam. He's a pretty cool cat. But, sure um, is. Mm. I'm, looking, I'm looking back all these years and I think, here's this guy who's taken my name and I've got no credit and he's got all the cash. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sure, what's going on there? Yippee-ki-yay, brother. Johnny, good Yippee on you. Thanks for joining us. The Grill Team, Gus, MG, and Maddie Johns. Triple M Breakfast.